Dr. Altman, thanks so much for joining me today. It's my pleasure. Can thanks you, for doing this. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> Can you talk to me a little bit about the Biomedical Data Science Initiative that you're a part of? Yes, this is an exciting umbrella organization at Stanford for all the people um, in, across all schools of the university who want to be involved in biomedical data analysis. Um, the thing that makes Stanford special is our unified campus with a School of Engineering, School of Humanities and Sciences, along with the School of Medicine. So the School of Medicine is obviously the leader, the convener of this initiative, but what makes Stanford really special is getting the engineers, the computer scientists, the physicists, the mathematicians, and the statisticians who care, and a lot of them do care because health is a pretty fundamental issue, to get together and do exciting research, training, shared resources. Wow. Have there been any exciting collaborations out of this initiative that you can think of? So this happens, you'd love to claim credit for all of the collaborations, sure. but the fact is Stanford faculty will do this spontaneously anyway. So I'm aware of collaborations between the computer scientists and the uh, healthcare delivery folks looking at new models for how we can run a clinic more effectively. We have collaborations between engineers and informaticians about how do we analyze systems biology networks of interacting genes. These things have been happening for decades at Stanford. Mm -hmm. Now is the time to kind of get them all together and create an outward facing um, unit um, that will help us with recruiting so when we see young people, both students and uh, also young faculty, we can have a, a place where they can come to and be excited as opposed to wondering where should I go, where should right. I go. It's a big draw. Right. Mm -hmm. So that, that for recruiting purposes, this initiative is exciting and also for having a unified face for fundraising. So we can say to donors who are passionate about an issue, we can put together a team with all the right people to solve big problems. Sort of like the A-team. You got yes. someone from every, every walk exactly. of life. Exactly. Or Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> Ocean's Eleven. I like that even better. <laughs> even better. It's a, it's a crack team. Um, excitingly, you helped organize this wonderful conference. Can you talk a little bit about what, what goes into that? So, you know, four years ago, when we were thinking about doing the first conference, we said, how can we create a go-to conference that people will want to come to every year that becomes the defining checkpoint every year for how is big data in medicine going? And so we said, well, we have to bring in three groups. We have to have academics, of course, but we want to bring in industry and we want to bring in government. And, and we want diversity in all, in all senses of the word. And so I am thrilled this year because we have increased quality of talks on science, government and policy, as well as industrial opportunities. They're coming together, people are giving these snappy talks which are getting the messages across, and then the Q&A with the audience has been fabulous. So I'm very pleased. Um, the meeting, it's about sitting down and doing hard work, mostly the staff supporting faculty, um, saying who are the people who are doing things that we need to bring to the attention of our audience. And so it really is a lot of work to know who's doing what, what's exciting, who should we invite. Again, you need an A-team behind you yes, to do something like exactly, this. Exactly, exactly. Can you talk briefly, I know your work focuses on how people's genes might make them respond differently to medicine. Can yes. you talk briefly about that? Yeah, so pharmacogenomics is a, a great field for data science because it involves integrating data at the molecular level. How does a small molecule interact with its target. Mm -hmm. Cellular level, how does the cell respond to the drug? Tissue, organism, and population. In informatics, it's all data for us, so we can integrate that. Uh, very exciting time. As you know, the president announced the Precision Medicine Initiative. I think the genetic basis for drug response is an absolutely core part of precision medicine. Absolutely. So we're excited about the opportunities to have our work kind of get out into the world, and that's really be where we're beginning to focus. So maybe in 2050, I can go to my doctor, and before they prescribe something for me, they're going to take a DNA sample? Yes, and I hope it's well before 2050, me when too. I'll be 90 and you'll be 30. <laughs> uh, so, I knew I liked you. <laughs> so I, I do think that we can look at this. There are implementations already happening in a test setting right, right today. If those are successful, we could be looking at five, 10 years for more general uh, dissemination of these technologies. Wow. That is so exciting. It is. Dr. Altman, thank you so much for joining me Thanks today. Thanks for interviewing me.